Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I got another what's new in DaVinci Resolve 16 beta. And today we're going to look at how to upload to YouTube, Vimeo, and to use Frame IO within the new DaVinci Resolve. So stay right there. We'll be right back. So one of the lesser known new features, actually there's two I'm going to show you today that um, didn't make any of the press announcements or anything. I just happened to find it in the release notes and then had to dig around on how to actually do it is how to upload to YouTube. I didn't even know it was there. I did see that um, there was Frame IO support. Frame IO is a collaboration tool that allows people to work together on projects at the same time. You can upload your changes, they can see it. It's a really cool tool and it's available in uh, some of the other higher end uh, video editing products as well. So if you're into collaboration and you know what Frame.io is, this is gonna be a big win for you to be able to use that. But I wanna look at using the upload to YouTube and Vimeo and uh, see what that's all about. So I've got a little clip here put together. It's nothing real long or anything. It was just something to show how the system works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the DaVinci Resolve menu. And, oh, look, here's another thing. Check for updates. Wow, is that about time that something like that has been built in? I mean, we've been waiting for that forever. I don't know if it's automatic when it goes to uh, when you launch it and it's going to check. But at least you have the ability to check for new updates right from within the application. So that's cool. So we're going to go to Preferences. And here under the Internet Accounts, so I'm on the System page. I go to Internet Accounts. I've got YouTube, Vimeo, and Frame.io. So with YouTube, you simply click Sign In, and it will walk you through logging into your account, your login, your password, and then choosing which account or which channel you want to upload to. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel this because I've got that set up. We've got a quick little render set up here. I'm going to go to the deliver page and I'm not going to choose uh, the regular pull down menu 720, 1080 or 2160. I'm just going to click on the YouTube icon and this stuff comes up. So I'm going to call this Paint Mines because that's what it was. And what resolution do I want? So I want 1920-1080, QuickTime, what video codec, so 265, 264, uh, whatever codec I want, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to stick with 264 for right now. My audio, which audio tracks I want, my audio codec, my data burn-in if I have any and my privacy settings. Well, I want this to be unlisted. I always do unlisted when I first upload so I can make sure that it goes into the HD mode. I can add my thumbnail. I can add my end screens, any cards that I need to add. Those types of things I need to make sure are all done before I make it public. And often I have a bunch of videos uploaded and I schedule them. So uh, I tend to always want them to be unlisted until I'm ready to publish them. So let's go ahead and add this to the render queue. And where do I want the actual file to be saved? I'll just save it to my desktop for right now. Now this is a good feature because if something happens during the upload, you still have the original file so you can manually up upload that. And um, I tried this a little while ago on another project went to do the upload, it started uploading to YouTube, and I'm like, oh cool, I can go do something else. And I opened up a new project and started to add media and DaVinci Resolve 16 crashed. Probably didn't like having an export process going while I was doing working on a, another project. So a uh, little bug there, got it reported, uh, but we're gonna just walk through the whole thing right now. So I'm gonna do my start render and this shouldn't take very long to go through and render. Uh, one thing I have noticed about DaVinci Resolve 16 is the output rendering is 
is faster. It's faster on, at least it's faster on my machine. This is a 5K iMac, uh, like a 2017, something like that, 32 gigs of RAM. And I get some really fast uh, rendering speeds, uh, significantly faster than I was before going to H.264. Now, if we go back to the screen here, we can see it said upload in progress and upload completed. So I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel here and I'll go to my, I'll have to open up a new window here. I'll go to my creator studio. Let me bring this page over here. And I'll view all. And there's my paint mines. And obviously I spelled it wrong, which I, or I had bad capitalization there. And it's nice and uploaded. So if I wait, you know, a little, you know, usually a minute or two, two or three minutes here, then um, usually this will change and show the HD icon, especially there it is, something this uh, small and only uh, 1080. So I'm gonna check this out. This is the first time I actually fully had this working here. And look at that, this quality is fantastic. And we're in 1080 mode, looks really good. Looks just like uh, I intended it to. So if you're interested in doing the direct YouTube upload, saving yourself a step after the fact, you can set it up in the preferences under the DaVinci Resolve menu and have it just automatically do it. I think for those times when I'm finishing a, pro a project and I just want to go to bed, often I start the rendering, I wake up, walk over to my machine, I start uploading to YouTube, do all my other stuff, and then I come back and start finishing it. Now I can just say, upload it to YouTube, go to bed, it renders it, I've got my backup from the with the original file just in case, but it finishes that upload to YouTube, and when I get up in the morning, I'm ready to just finish up the video settings. So I think this is a very, very cool feature for um, a lot of vault vloggers that need or that, that just want to optimize that process a little bit without having to wait for it to finish and then upload. Just let it finish, come back, and finish up your work. So this is yet another What's New in DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you enjoy these. I have a handful more coming because there are a ton of new features in DaVinci Resolve 16. So if you like this video, be sure and hit like. If you don't like it, that's all right. Hit the dislike button. Feel free to hit it twice if you want. It's not going to bother me. And if you're going to dislike it, please tell me why in the comments so I know how to make the videos better. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified every time I put out a new video. And there's lots of new videos to come. So stay tuned for more. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.